Hello Pisces, welcome to your mid-month November reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Pisces, let's take a look at your energy. Now this can be of course reversed or if you're cross-watching it could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. We've got the card of Pomona, Plenty. This feels very Nine of Pentacles. So the way that I'm seeing this is it's a card of independence, self-reliance and self-support. I'm also getting a very strong High Priestess energy attached to the Illumination card here. Now you'll see that in this card there's mist rising on this beautiful uh, lake and there's the sun rising over these distant mountains. Mists uh, swirling, illuminated by the uh, morning light. Now in many traditions mist symbolizes what is called the Mystic Veil and of course the Mystic Veil brings to mind the High Priestess. And that represents an entrance point, of course, into the unknown, the unseen realms. And uh, in native cultures, mists are associated with the magical inner dimensions. For example, mist in the mountains represents higher states of consciousness. So this is about reaching a higher state of consciousness. Yeah, there's a feeling here as well of being uh, upwardly mobile, if you will an upward journey of illumination. There's an energy of being protected, your spirit guides are supporting you, and I do feel that there's this energy of the double rainbow here with this card of miracles, something being brought into your life that's going to be of support or assistance to you, but in a very high vibrational way with this card of Jizo and support. Now this is of course also, the shadow aspect of this is about being too supportive of others without uh, receiving anything back. Of course, we don't do things so that we receive anything back, but also we don't, we also have to be careful about giving too much of ourselves. And I feel that that's the energy that I'm getting around this reading here for you, Pisces, is uh, there may be an energy of someone who's given too much of themselves. Now this could be you, it could be the reversed energy, of course. So let's see where this goes. A, a spiritual lesson, I'm getting a spiritual lesson. Illumination, enlightenment of something that was previously unknown. Okay, so let's see. Pisces, we'll uh, get these cards. I've already meditated on your energy and let's do a few more shuffles. And then we'll start laying the cards down for my beautiful Pisces water signs here for the month of, well, mid-month November, going into December for Pisces, please. Mid-month November, going into December for Pisces. Okay. Let's lay a signifier down for you where you currently stand. We hope to stand in the future, how you are viewing the other person, how you've perceived them in the past, your doubts and fears, what's happening in your environment and the potential outcome. And for the other person, don't forget either side can resonate, so please take it as it resonates with you and it won't resonate with everyone of course, it's a general reading, it can be reversed energy. Or if you're cross-watching, as I said, it could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Now I'll be shuffling these a little bit different because these cards are double-sided. So let's take a look. We'll get a signifier down for the person that you're dealing with, Pisces. Where, let's try that again. Where they currently stand. Where they currently stand. where they currently stand, okay, where they hope to stand in the future, how they're viewing you, Pisces, okay, let's take a look and see how they've perceived you in the past, their doubts and fears, the potential no, sorry, the environment. Let's have a look at the environment. The environment for this person. What's happening in this person's environment? Okay. 
and the potential outcome. All right, let's take a look here, guys. The Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like this, uh, I'm going to start with the other person. I feel like they've been, al they're currently alone. Okay. But they, I feel that they're, they've reached a stage in their life where they're looking to, it feels to me like settling, settling down with a partner. This person, of course, may have an, an animal, a pet, but the, the way that I'm feeling around them is that they've already built up quite a, a bit in their life. Like they have, they, they have a career, that this person may be older or further along in life. There's an energy around uh, a connection with this person as well, which feels very, uh, very much like, uh, it not only is it prosperity, but it feels like it's more than that, but we'll look at that uh, as we go further along now. You have the Two of Pentacles. For some reason I feel like this is something that's coming back, like it's a, it's a repeat, but it's not a bad repeat. You know, it's a repeat after you've each gone down another road, learned some lessons. Uh, so there's an energy here of having grown up. There's still this element of choice around you here though, perhaps to remain, whether or not to remain single and independent or whether to commit to a partner, Pisces. Let's have a look. We've got the chariot here is where you currently stand. So you are choosing your life direction. Which path to go down do I stay single? And I feel that there's happiness there. I feel like you're doing okay sing, being a single person. It, it feels like you are uh, tending your garden there like Pomona. You have plenty. You have this, this energy around you of being appreciative. So I feel like there's this law of attraction energy around you. Now you may have actually been, I don't feel that there, I think you may have been, I don't feel that you're closed off. You know, I'm getting this wall around you, but I don't feel that you, that's a wall that's closing off. I just feel like it's boundaries, healthy boundaries, which you've learned over time, Pisces. Yeah. So I'm getting a little bit of fear around you, fear of letting someone in. But if you've got those healthy boundaries, I don't feel that you have anything to fear. I feel that you can make a, a good choice. Now, where they currently stand, we've got, they also have the chariot. So I, I feel that this person's coming in here with some kind of offer. For some reason, I get it someone from the past yeah, after having some kind of illumination, some kind of tower moment, an understanding. Where you hope to stand with this in the future, we've got the Page of Swords. You're trying to find out some information, the truth about this, or what, what, you know, what's changed with this person? Why have they suddenly, they, they weren't interested in commitment before? Or, uh, there was something there where this didn't work out in the past. But now they seem to be coming back here and you're wondering what the motivation is. You know, you're, you're kind of giving them the side eye. Well, what is this all about? Now they have the magician for their future, so they are trying to, uh, trying to bring about a, a better existence for themselves. You know, I've got them here as the Ten of Pentacles, so they are focused now on commitment, whereas perhaps before they weren't. So they're starting to, to recognize now value, I think. Value. They may have had different values before. They may have valued uh, being single. They may have valued seeing a number of people. 
who knows but the, I feel now they're squarely focused on something long term and committed for the future now how you're viewing them we've got the Queen of Swords okay and how they're viewing you we've got the Fool yeah I feel like they're coming in they're, they're ready they're, they're making an offer and they're seeing you as someone here Pisces who is uh, a little bit detached very still very much uh, focused on being this um, single lady if you will you know the Queen of Swords is a card of someone who has been uh, single uh, divorced maybe maybe even widowed as well and uh, is, is used to being alone but this person seems to be coming in and offering support of some kind Yeah, I get this someone from the past, but you're both older now. Now, how you perceived them in the past, we've got death. Yeah, so this did end in the past. There were restrictions here. I feel how they viewed, how they perceived you in the past, the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Like the, the path ahead was blocked for them. There was some kind of blockage that they had to work through in order for them to to come to you with this 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 commitment with this uh, higher vibration that I'm picking up around them wasn't the case when you knew them before your doubts and fears we've got the uh, the high priestess and I was getting that with the uh, illumination card there have they really learned have they learned the lesson uh, I feel that you you tend to keep yourself I, I get an energy here of uh, distance maintaining distance and I'm talking about social distance here I'm talking about maintaining emotional distance and not showing not showing all your uh, not showing your feelings anymore you know Yes, I'm getting a very closed off energy around you and you don't know whether to open up to this person or not Pisces now their doubts and fears we've got the four of Pentacles yeah it's about sharing opening up and sharing their world I just feel that you're both very uh, private people both of you may have been single for a number of years and now there's this sense of am I ready or not to join forces but it seems like this person is their your external influence is the knight of pentacles yeah I feel it's this person coming through with an, an offer for you an offer of commitment their external influence is the three of pentacles yeah they've been doing things on their own for a while and I feel that they're now wanting to have commitment Pisces the outcome for you is the king of wands the outcome for them is the knight of swords so yeah I feel it's this person it could be a fire sign Pisces coming towards you I get you you having possibly you've been I get some of you may have been widowed or, or certainly divorced you don't know whether you want to commit to this person or yeah it feels like I get this this barrier around you but I don't feel it's an unhealthy barrier I feel like the barrier here is more about uh, wanting to be sure of someone before you let anyone in and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that yeah now the feeling that I'm getting around this person with that king of swords energy I think you're right it's it's gonna feel quite miraculous it's going to feel 
it's going to feel like, wow, why is this person coming back? You know, you, you, you thought that was dead and gone. But it seems like they're now charging back in. And you're wondering why that is. So I, so I understand. I understand the need for you to get, get more information here before you, uh, before you open up to this person. Mm. So let's see where this goes in the extended Pisces. What I'll do is I'll get a, a an oracle card here, a spirit animal, before we go to the extended. And uh, if this is your story, please do join me. The link is down below in the descriptions box, and that will be on my Vimeo channel. It'll be about a 30-minute reading. I'll be going much more in depth, so please do join me there if this is your story. Pisces, if you prefer a personal reading, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Or you can look in the box below for my Etsy shop and there you'll find a direct link where you can purchase. And uh, guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you're a newcomer. And please do check out my new channel memberships. You can click on the join button for ways to support my channel. Okay, Pisces, let's take a look. Message for Pisces. What does Pisces need to hear? We've got the dog. Who's going to be loyal? service devotion honesty yeah so you thought this was you thought this was over and now i feel that you're going to have a choice uh, there's somebody coming forward to you here showing their devotion uh that they want to be of they want to be of support to you um yeah loyalty loyalty to you yeah. So let's see where this goes in the extended. You know, it looks good. It looks good. It just feels like there's something here from the past that you've got questions about that you need to that you need to have answered before you fully jump on board with this. Yeah. So let's see where this goes in the extended. Again, the link is down below. Wishing you the best with this, Pisces. So please take care and bye for now.